Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. My name is Kelsey and today I'm going to be doing my winter trend alert. I, I expected to film this a little bit earlier but I guess it had to wait till after all the Christmas time um, and so now here we are. For those of you who are new to my channel, I like to do a little series called trend alert where every season I will go through and talk about the current upcoming trends or maybe it's not even a current trend but like an upcoming soon to be one just what to look for when you're shopping things to expect to see a lot in the fashion industry and what's currently going on so the first trend that i have you guys have definitely seen me wear this a ton and it is patent leather which is this shinier type of leather now obviously you don't have to just get it in black you can get this in any sort of color any sort of pattern but i just have these two as an example i have these really cool patent leather high-waisted pants and then i also have this long trench coat which I am in love with this trench coat now I know this probably may seem like a more daring fabric to wear if you're not the really outgoing fashionista type of person but patent leather I feel like you can definitely style it so many different ways like for example these pants that I have here I have worn these a million of different ways like I've worn them super duper casually with just like a white t-shirt tucked in and my white Nike sneakers like that's such a simple just like running around little outfit but then also I've worn it really casually with like a really long oversized hoodie like in the winter time a super long oversized hoodie with these pants and again I just wore it with like some sneakers this coat I love I have brisked the most brisk days in this jacket um, and so I love this jacket. I love trench coat jackets just to begin with but I feel like when you have like a more simple outfit and instead of just wearing a plain black long jacket you could definitely wear something like this. It not only dresses it up a lot more but it makes it look a lot more trendy and adds a little something extra to the outfit and I love this jacket specifically because it has a belt and I love wearing this jacket closed and just have this be the staple of my outfit which I think is really fun. And then the next trend that I have is honestly something Thing I didn't want to admit to liking to at first it's a trend that has definitely like it started already and I kind of knew about it and had seen it and I was like mm, it's not really for me but it's been growing on me a little bit and I think I like briefly talked about this in my fall trend alert but it wasn't an actual trend at the time because like I said I was in denial so um, a lot of big designers have been doing very western slash equestrian inspired pieces like Fendi just came out with this whole cowboy boot sort of collection and Dior has their whole rodeo collection but like I said it's not really my style so even though at first I didn't want to admit I liked it there are ways that you can subtly still include this sort of trend into your own personal style without it like 100% overtaking your outfit so I have three pieces that to me were very like equestrian westerny sort of style that I thought were cool. I have these three pieces here. This one is the most daring of the pieces. I <laughs> love this jacket. I think it's so cool. Um, so I found this at a vintage store. It is the coolest. <laughs> Just looking at it makes me giggle. Look, you've got the horses <laughs> I think it's great so it's basically this and it's super warm too like the fabric is extremely thick like you don't even need an extra coat with this little jacket like it's great so it's got this really rad horse pattern on it very western style it's black and white so still very simple it's got this loud pattern but there's not any color going on so it's not overbearing um, we've got a little bit of fringe going on at the bottom and then these really cool like silver really in your face western buttons and then i have these two pieces here which this one it's more of like a juliet sort of poet style blouse with like the lace and like the cinching here but it gives me those very equestrian vibes that you know i could definitely have this Ooh, i see it styled with like some brown leather skinny pants and like knee-high boots would be so adorable and like a little hat very equestrian vibes you see where I'm going with it so it's got these really cool they almost look like little crystal but it's just acrylic buttons um, it's got the very pointy collar which I think is what gives me that equestrian horse riding vibe um, I love the lace which adds a lot of elegance and keeps it still really girly so this seems like a top that I would wear you know I love ruffles I talked about that in my last trend alert ruffles and just flowy little shirts have been like really on trend with the cinched waist I love a nice snatch cinch 
to waist. Um, so it's still something that I would very much wear, but it has a hint of that trend in there. And then this piece I just recently picked up. Like, I haven't even worn this yet. It's still on my new rack in my closet, and it is this... It's so cool. It's like this button-up blouse, but it's got this stiffer fabric, so it's not really flowy. It's like very fitted, and I love the sleeves. I love the collar. It's really adorable and really chic and definitely gives that same sort of equestrian vibe to it, which I love. I love the pockets, and I honestly, I love the color. I'm one of those people that a lot of times I'll see something that's not exactly popular yet, but I'll still wear it anyways. So this is one of those things that I was wearing for a while that a lot of people didn't really like, and it's becoming a lot bigger, and so I wanted to talk about it and sort of explain myself. So one of the ways I love to warm up a summer dress is to throw an oversized sweater over top of it, and it's definitely got that like hobo-y grandma librarian chic look that I apparently really love because I do this all the time. I love this look. I think it's really great. So you can do this with literally anything. You can just grab an oversized sweater or it doesn't necessarily have to even be oversized. It can just be like, sometimes I'll wear cropped ones, but definitely more of like a flowier bottom, nothing like really tight fitting and just a longer flowier dress. Or you can even do this with like a skirt. Um, I do that all the time. I love this look. I think it's great. Um, I love the whole like oversized, just like slouchy, like got my sweater on over my dress just because I can. And the last trend that I'm going to talk about is a hat trend. I felt like I wanted an accessory in this, but I obviously needed it to be like a wintry accessory. So hats are something everybody's always wearing in the winter time, especially me. I feel like I've talked about a lot of hats actually in trend alerts. I've talked about my berets. I've talked about my paper boy slash sailor hats. Now I'm going to talk about bucket hats. I've been liking these hats a lot. I think they're a really fun shape. Not all of them look good on my head. You definitely do have to find the right one. Um, so I have a variety. Again, these two are from vintage stores. I have this like really beigey fur one that is really, really cool. Sadly, this is like my favorite one that I own, but it doesn't look good on my head shape. Um, I think just because the fabric is too thick, so it doesn't really work. And then I have this one, which is like this really fuzzy, furry, more white like off-white toned one. They don't look right with my hair, so like I can't try it on because I have a sleek look, but these two tend to fit my head really, really well. I have this textured black one that is like, oh, it's patent leather. It's a shiny little patent leather hat. And then I have this just plain black one from Lack of Color. This one is vintage. Um, and yeah, these tend to fit my head really well. So at first I didn't like them because I thought that they looked just really ridiculous on my head until I kept adventuring for the right one. And I finally found these two that do look good on my head shape. <laughs> Plus it warms you up and my ears get really cold really, really quickly. So wearing hats is like an essential for me in the winter. So yeah, I've been loving these sort of bucket hat things. I'm starting like a little collection here as you can see. So those are all of the trends that I have for you guys for this winter trend alert. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope that you guys stay fashionable and warm this winter. So yeah, give this video a thumbs up to let me know if you liked it, that I should keep doing my little trend alerts every season. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to keep up with my uploads. I post every single Tuesday and every single Friday. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.